talking about four key mistakes that you're doing wrong when using minoxidil all right for my new viewers make sure you click that subscribe button down below like this video share it with five friends who you think are doing these mistakes while they are on their minoxidil bear journey for my returning viewers welcome back man now you look we gonna jump straight to the point all right now mistake number one inconsistent if you want to use minoxidil to grow your beard you have to apply two times per day nothing more nothing less in the morning and in the night you have to be consistent you cannot miss a session you cannot miss a morning session you cannot miss a night session if you want that effective growth use minoxidil in the morning and in the night you can use either liquid or foam version if your beard is low and like if you still have venous hair, hair that is developing, those light hairs that you can see, use the foam version as it's easier to apply. Whereas to if you're using the liquid version, um, the liquid is just gonna drain on your skin and you have to keep rubbing it in. Foam is perfect for venous hair, for light hairs, as, it, as it's easy to apply onto the skin. Now if you have a thick beard, and you just want to improve some patchy or light areas i would recommend use the liquid version apply it along like outline the beard apply it and just comb it through or massage it in nothing more nothing less in the morning and in the night you have to be consistent if you're not consistent you will not get the results that you desire everybody is different and we all experience different time frames in terms of seeing results. When I was on the minoxidil, I've seen results coming in on my third month. All right. Now you may take less than me, or you may take more months than me. But coming from experience, on my third month, I've started to notice that those venous hairs start turning terminal and thick. All right. Now my second tip is demotivation if you're demotivated then it's obviously that you won't get the results you desire because you apply it and then you don't see the results and you just get demotivated and discouraged so you stop taking minoxidil on your bed you need the patience you need the dedication you need the consistency you need all those key factors to grow your bed if you're using minoxidil, you have to trust the process. You cannot give up or you cannot be demotivated because you haven't seen the results on the time you want to see it. You have to you have to stay encouraged. You can watch my videos, you can watch my bear transformation videos to keep you know optimistic, keep encouraged because the results will come. You just have to be patient. Growing a beard, beard is patient, patience, patience. You need the patience to grow your beard, all right? It's not gonna grow overnight. It's not gonna grow over weeks. You have some people out there that don't need minoxidil at all. Like they're 18, 19, growing a full, like a grown man beard at 18, 19. Now you're talking about full grown beard without using no minoxidil at all. It's because of their genetics. All right, now for people that are fighting a grody bear, your bear is patchy. If you want to use minoxidil, minoxidil is a great topical solution to help fix those patchy light areas on your bear. But you just need the patience. You cannot be discouraged. You cannot give up. The results are gonna come if you're consistent. If you're dedicated, it's gonna come. But usually, based off of other people's experience and my experience. You're gonna see some results within that two to three month period or two to four month period. You're gonna see some results. So just because you're one month in, I've had a lot of questions, people that are one month in the minoxidil bear journey and they they just wanna give up because they, are, they, they don't see no results. They think it's a waste of money, but you have to be consistent. You have to, you, you need the patience, right? You need patience. 
all right you're watching this video you want to start a bear journey have the patience you know practice discipline self-discipline and like i said on the first tip consistency be disciplined to apply the minoxidil day and night and the results will come it will show all right and that's something i had to develop is self-discipline to make it a habit to apply the minoxidil day and night and to stay motivated instead of demotivated and i was encouraged because i know at the end of my journey i want a full bear so I had to stay motivated and be consistent. Now, leading on to the third tip is contacting a doctor or someone from a medical background or a medical source if minoxidil is right for you. All right. Always do your research. Contact a clinic. Contact your local doctor. Buy more information about it. Don't just rely on one source of information because you don't know what people are going to say to you and what I'm telling y'all is based off of my experience and I've shown you all the results but now you're hearing it from me as well although I'm telling y'all what y'all need to do right I'm telling y'all what else y'all need to do is if you're like having doubt of minoxidil if you think that is it isn't gonna work for you telling y'all about my experience people i've had a lot of like a lot of comments here oh i'm lying stop lying but if you don't feel if you feel some type of way i cannot tell you um you know that hey like i can't convince you enough because you're your own person right that's why i'm telling y'all if you ever feel like you're in doubt or if you feel like people on the internet are lying contact your doctor go to the clinic let them recommend you minoxidil or if, ask them about minoxidil ask them what it's what it's used for ask them they will tell you the results that's if you don't believe what people say is true on the internet or from youtube videos all right but for health factors as well because people has side effects and I haven't experienced no side effects but everybody is different just because I haven't experienced no side effect doesn't mean you will and just because I can tolerate it doesn't mean that you will as well so make sure that you don't have no underlying condition no health conditions and if you have any health conditions contact your doctor and ask them if minoxidil is safe to use with your health condition all right don't just buy minoxidil because you're so in a rush to grow a beard because there's so much things to take into consideration if you're growing a beard especially using a topical solution like minoxidil to boost your beard journey or in, or boost your beard progress all right that's tip number three now the fourth tip is not using any bed oils while you're using minoxidil. Bed oils play a key factor in minoxidil in the minoxidil journey because minoxidil will dry out your skin, it will flake up your skin. And I've seen many people talk about the flakiness, how it's annoying. That's where bed oil comes in. But you have to apply the bed oils four hours after using minoxidil. All right because you don't want to defeat the purpose and i've been preaching this i've made videos i've been telling people you do not want to defeat the purpose of minoxidil by applying the minoxidil right away then afterwards you apply your bed oils right now the bed oil i recommend is by tracy moran it is an explosive growth hair and bed oil this is it right here I use it every day and it improves the thickness of my beard, it improves my overall hair growth, it improves my overall beard growth, all of that I use it every day, it's a great beard oil, it moistens your beard, it keeps it moistened throughout the entire day, you can buy it in the link in the description below using discount code TURKS, alright, it ships in the United States and internationally, it is again tracing around hair and beard oil and while 
I was on my minoxidil journey, I've been using bed oils as well. And bed oils is a great, great, great growth factor in maintaining a healthy beard. All right. So, like I said, take your bed oils four four hours after using minoxidil. All right. Four hours after using minoxidil. Do not rush it. So that means if you want to take bed oils while using minoxidil, you have to prioritize your time. So if you apply the minoxidil in the morning, apply the bed oils around midday or lunchtime. If you apply the minoxidil just as you came home, like between the hours of five, six, seven, typical time when people come home, you bathe, you apply the minoxidil, um, you can apply bed oils just, just before you go to sleep around like 11 or so. But if you go to sleep earlier, that means you have to apply the minoxidil earlier, right? These things go hand in hand. But minoxidil is a great tool to grow, up, to grow your beard, speed it up. But it will leave your skin flaky. It will leave your skin dry. That's why bed oils play a important factor in growing your beard. Now, people have also asked me if they can wash the minoxidil off and apply the bed oil. It, the, the answer is yes, right? Because you can leave the minoxidil on. Like when I was in my journey, I left the minoxidil on, and then four hours later, I would apply the bed oil, comb through, and sometimes I would wash it off and apply the bed oils four hours after, all right? And the results came either way, right? I'm telling you all my experience, the results came and here it is. All right, now once you take these mistakes into consideration, you will be well on your way to growing that thick, full beard you desire, that you want, all right? These are the mistakes people make while using minoxidil and I'm telling you it I'm telling y'all it because I do not want y'all to make these same mistakes and go through the same process other people went through because they made the mistakes and they just keep doing it daily daily and they wonder why they haven't seen the results they they wonder why um like their progress isn't moving like they, they just have a lot of questions and when I ask them if you're doing this, if they're doing that, and they say yes, and they haven't done any research, nothing. They just apply, apply the bed arms or apply the minoxidil, wash it off. You're defeating the purpose and that's why your progress isn't coming, all right? Now take these mistakes into consideration. Don't ever make these mistakes all right you want to be consistent you want to stay motivated you want to do your research you want to ask your doctor if you have any underlying health conditions ask your doctor clinic that if minoxidil is safe to use even though you have those conditions and you want to apply the bed oils onto your skin onto your beard four hours after using minoxidil. Now, once you take those mistakes into consideration, like I said, you will be well on your way to growing that full, thick beard while using minoxidil. All right, it's your boy, Wavy Shot. Signing out, you could message me on Instagram at wavy.shot if you have any more questions. Make sure you like this video, share this video to five friends that you know that are struggling with the Apache beard using minoxidil or if they're having problems growing their beard with minoxidil. Share to avoid these mistakes and be well on your way to growing that beard you desire, right? We're on the road to 1,000 subscribers. Click that subscribe button down below if you haven't subscribed to the channel. Share this video. We're on the road to 1,000 subscribers, man. Let's grow. Let's share the word. And I want, I would, I would like to see y'all um, results man I've had a lot of people in my Instagram share me their results a lot of people on Facebook share me their results and come on man let's grow let's go man grow your beard stay consistent stay motivated come on man we in this together I have I've had my experience and I can't wait for y'all to share your experience as well alright now it's why we shot for real
Signing out, man. I'm going. Hey, yeah, 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 you know I, I am not no regular. My life is like a